Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 in Peru. Before you proceed in this step, I want you to go and download the tutorials before you start it. That way, you will set up your AutoCAD to match, to match up with mine. It will be easy for you to follow up in this tutorial. Now use any method that you have learned in for you start to start AutoCAD. I'm going to right click this icon and select AutoCAD 2018 English. The before you start tutorial is not a requirement for this tutorial, but it can help you to set up your AutoCAD to match up with mine. That will find it easy to use the application. Now look at this window, the welcome screen. The welcome screen is divided into several areas. You have the application title, the ribbon, the get started, the recent document, and the notification. If you look at the recent document, you see three drawing from me. These are drawings that come to the application. As the more drawing you open, the more drawing is going to appear in this area. In fact, if we open more drawing that the, the recent documents can handle, the older version of the drawing get, get a while the new one appear on the recent document screen. Now, let's go and start a new drawing by clicking the Get Started drawing. So we need to set the drawing environment. Now let's go and set up let's go and change the profile but before you get deep into this tutorial please i want you to watch the videos on before you started videos that can help you now right click into the drawing area and select option this will bring the option dialog box with the profile tab set current yours might be the file tab because i use the profile tab previously that's why the profile type is the current tab. If this is the first time you open the this tab, the file type might be called. Now select my YouTube Imperial profile and click the set current button. This way, any setting or changes that you do into this system will not affect the other profile. If you have, if you share your system with other person, you use someone's system, you cannot affect the setting on the profile. Now. Set this current and click OK to return to your drawing. Let's close all these palettes for the moment and go to the quick access toolbar. Click the down arrow and select the match property. Click again. All the all this command that you see in the quick access in this window can be added to the quick access toolbar. All those that have a check mark in them, they are displaying the quick access to them. Those that don't have a check mark, they are not displayed. To so display any command in this window to the quick access to them, just place a check mark next to it. To to withdraw a command again from the quick access to them, just uncheck that command. That command will disappear on the quick access to them. So I'm going to add the match property layer and workspace. If you use the previous version of AutoCAD, you may not have some of this option. For example, this layer option might not appear in your with access to them. Then, property and plot preview. Okay. Let's leave the quick access toolbar for the moment and focus on other settings. As you can see, the 3D modeling is the current workspace. This is because I have used the 3D workspace recently. But I'm going to click the down arrow and change the workspace to drafting and annotation. Again, if you don't act activate, if you don't place a check mark in the quick access toolbar, this workspace will not be here. So to bring the workspace, move down your mouse cursor into this area and click and set the workspace that you want to set as a point workspace. Now, this is another area which you need to focus attention. This is the status bar. All the buttons in this area affect the settings in the drawing area. Any button that has a blue color, it means it's active. 
any button that has a gray color it means it's inactive for example if i se select the line command and start to draw you see that the line move in any uh, at any angle but if i move down the mouse cursor and activate the audio mode by clicking this button you see now i can only draw in orthogonal angle that's me in 90 degree increment then if i want to draw something other than 90 degree I can move down and deactivate it, then I can draw at any angle. Press escape. The other problem is that sometimes you activate a command and that command is not displayed and the command continues to affect you in drawing here. For example, if I turn on the audio mode, now if I draw anything in the drawing area, it can only in the Odokunal mode, except if I override the angle. You can learn more about overriding angle in auto mode and upcoming tutorial. Now I'm going to press escape. If you come into this area and look for auto mode and uncheck the auto mode, the auto button is gone. But now if I select the line command and start to draw, still when the button is not displayed on the status bar, but it's still active because the button was active before I uncheck it. Sometimes this can cause a lot of problems. You have activated some certain command, but the command is not displayed on the status bar. If you have you found any problem like that and look to the status bar, you don't have to find that command. All you need to do, click this ellipse button then and activate the button. For example, the audio mode. Then you deactivate it. If you want, you can display it after you have deactivated it. Also, if like for instance you know that this is certain command that affects certain setting in your drawing but the command is not displayed on the status bar you can use the auxiliary key for example to activate audio all you need to do just press your f8 key on your keyboard and press it again to deactivate it press it key to get out of the command the nav bar which is another useful tool bar. And the navigation bar, you have the navigation wheel. If you want to activate the navigation wheel, all you need to do is click it once and move your mouse cursor to the drawing area. As you move the mouse cursor slowly, the navigation wheel follows the mouse movement. If you want to use any command in the navigation, move slowly and select that command. For instance, if I want to zoom, all I need to do, I move my mouse cursor slowly, I have it to the zoom, then click. AutoCAD allow me to zoom in or zoom out. Then, if I want to use any other command like pan, all I need to do is move the mouse cursor to the pan and click. AutoCAD allow you to move the drawing to a different location. Press escape to get out of the command. You have the zoom extent. Under the zoom extent, there is a down arrow. If you click this down arrow, you see all the zoom that are associated with this navigation bar. For instance, the zoom extent is the default one. That's why you see a check mark on the zoom extent. You can change the default to any other zoom. For example, if I want to zoom the zoom window, I can check the zoom window. Now the zoom window is the correct one. But again, if I want to bring back the zoom extent, all I need to do is just click into the zoom extent. The zoom extent is now the correct one. There are so many zooms you can use some of this zoom command and doing the tutorial. Again, you have the orbits. All of this object you will use in the along the tutorial. This the command line. You can type a command here. For example, if I want to draw a line, all I need to just type line. As you can see in AutoCAD, when you start when you start type something, AutoCAD brings a suggestion list. For example, now I already type LIN, so all the command that related to LIN are now displayed. So I can move my mouse cursor and select, and select any command in this area. You see, it's very easy to find a command when you type it in the command line. I prefer to use the toolbars and the menu to when I create a tutorial, that way new user can understand better 
where the command are located. In this area, you have three tabs the model tab, layout one, and layout two. You can have as many layouts as you want, but you can only one have one model tab. The model tab where you create your drawing and the layout tab where you set your drawing for printing. If I click this plus icon, AutoCAD add another tab and rename the tab sequentially, layout three, layout four, and so on. Now I'll click the model tab to go back to the model view. Let's look to the ribbon for a moment. This whole area is the ribbon. The ribbon divided into tabs and the tabs divided into panel. For example, in the ribbon you have the home tab, the insert tab, the annotate tab, the parametric tab, the view tab, and so on. In the home tab, we are all the frequent use command are placed. For example, in the home tab you have the draw panel, modify panel, annotation panel, layer panel. The insert tab you have the block panel, block definition panel, reference panel. And the annotate tab you have the text panel, dimension panel, and so on. The ribbon, just as I was saying, divided into tab and the tab divided by into panel. And the panel divided into icons or command. For example, in the draw panel, you have the line command, the polyline command, the circle command. Some command have more than one option to execute them. So any command that have an arrow next to it or under it, it means it has another option. For example, the circle command, if I click the down arrow, you see six options to draw a circle. If AutoCAD place all these six options in the drawing, in the in the in the main drawing area in the main drawing command panel the space will not be sufficient so Autodex decided to collapse all of these command in one and place one to be the default at a time all you need to do if you need a command that is not the default click the down arrow and select that command but if you want to use a default command if there is no need for you to click the down arrow that way you avoid the second click imagine if you save 10 or 20 click on drawing how many times that you see the same thing to the arc you have other commands related commands to the arc the arc the ellipse the rectangle and so on so some of the commands are hidden under the panel to bring this command click the down arrow after the panel for example if i click the down arrow after I draw autocad bring another set of commands for example this Steel line fit, steel line curve, construction line, and so on. So when you move the mouse cursor, the command, the panel collapses again. Same thing to the modify, annotate, layer, and so on. But if you want to use a specific command, but the command is not displayed in the panel at the default, but you want to use it for for several times, all you need to do click down arrow and pin the command. The panel is still open. When you unpin it, the panel will return to its default location. Now that you have a better understanding, we will end this tutorial here. In the next tutorial, we will go and start a new drawing with a template and set up the unit. If you find this tutorial useful, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to follow along this series to get all the tutorial in this series or any other tutorial in my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i see you in the next class